two interceptions and <laughs> for 150 yards. Here he is after the game. We feel like we can get a lot better. Um, and so um, we're going to clean up the mistakes, um, especially on the offense. It starts with me. Um, and then we'll be a better team forward as the season goes on. Okay. Last week was a toe. Mm -hmm. This week, people aren't happy with the P.I., the Bengals fans, big complainers. It, it, yeah. It clearly a mm P.I. -hmm. Lucky again is the question. What did I say last week? Last week, I said they got very lucky. And once again, I will say, yeah, the Chiefs are incredibly lucky. They're lucky for a number of reasons. First and foremost, that Cincinnati keeps coming to Arrowhead and having the exact same thing happen. Joe Burrow, ball in his hands, fourth quarter, late drive, can win the game. And then gives up a bad sack, gives the ball back to Patrick Mahomes, then a young player who probably shouldn't even be in the game uh -oh. commits a penalty that everyone knows is a penalty, but Bengals fans still whine about it. And then Harrison Butker kicks the field goal. Joe Burrow's sad. The Arrowheads, oh, Arrowhead, that is something. They're also lucky that it's now officially, if it ever wasn't, back to being Arrowhead okay, Stadium. Here we go. So the first banner, there oh, it is. Oh, that works. It works great. Rest <laughs> in peace, Burrowhead Stadium. It's like we never knew ye. You existed for one game game because of one weekend, because of one fluky <laughs> overtime, but I'll keep going. They are lucky that Patrick Mahomes can have, to my eye, arguably the worst game of his career, and they mm. win. The, we can show you the numbers. The pass to Rasheed Rice was awesome. Almost nothing else was good. And the second pick yeah, that, yeah. was exceptional by Cam Taylor Britt. Yep. But it's the incredible. first pick was a yeah. terrible decision yeah. or throw, and for in, for my there's money, almost one more pick right? It, it, there's almost another one. For my money, it was as bad of a Mahomes game as I've seen, and they've won anyway. They're lucky that they dealt with the insanity of the Bills game last year. That was the Kadarius Tony stood off sides and took away the Kelsey play, mm -hmm. because if you remember that. The Chiefs kind of acted like that play ended that drive, even though they still had plenty of time to get in field goal range after that play. In this game, before the 4th and 16 was a 4th and 6 that they picked up, right. and their backup left tackle committed the illegal hands to the face. A few plays after, their right tackle had committed a hold on a huge Kelsey play, and they kept their composure for the 4th and 16. And they're lucky that they're good enough to overcome three turnovers. When the rest of the league this season, when they commit three turnovers, is 1-20, they are now 1-0. When the rest of the league that is minus in the turnover battle for the season are a combined 5-17 and 17 for their season-long records, the Chiefs are 2-0. and And they are also lucky, Brew, and then I'll give it to you, that a tip normal lazy sap Sunday afternoon in September when you host Jim Nance and Tony Romo for your seventh or eighth time of the year, that can be what it is for the Chiefs when it's someone else's <laughs> Super Bowl. Because oh. the Bengals, it was their Super Bowl. They sold tickets to it for a watch party. <laughs> and the, the Chiefs can just take a leisurely stroll through your Super Bowl. So, yeah, they're the luckiest team out there, Brew. I agree with everyone on the Internet. Wow. All right. Well, look, to me, it's not luck. This is what the Chiefs do in the Patrick Mahomes era. It just is. They always find a way. Down 10 into the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. Three times. Chiefs win. Yeah. Down three with 13 seconds left. 13. Yeah. Chiefs win. Down three in overtime of the Super Bowl. Chiefs win. Mahomes is doing, and Nick might disagree, what the man he's so often compared to did. Bill Russell, never lose Michael a Michael Jordan. Man. Sorry. He always finds a way. And here's the thing. Look, that fumble by Burrow, which he should be beating himself up about, 98, it was a backup, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, Warden or whatever his name is. He, it wasn't a full punch out, but he caused that fumble. Mm -hmm. He caused that fumble where they returned for a touchdown. And then the fourth and 16 play where it clearly was a pass interference, if unless the defender had timed it absolutely perfectly, if he doesn't pee, he's catching it. I mean, assuming Rice doesn't drop it, it was there. 
Like, he shouldn't even be that open. That pass was right on the money. Like, they made it happen. Now, Nick, I will say this. If there is such a thing as a team in the league that is a problem or it's the them. closest thing it's to a the problem. Bengals. For the it's the Bengals. I totally like, agree. They match up. They, Nick, I, after a week of trash talk they sh- they, without T. Higgins, they went in the arrowhead, and I, I think they outplayed the Chiefs. I, you might have – they outplayed them as far as I'm – they gained more yards. They they were better in the red zone. They won the more turnover team in battle. The red zone. Yes, they, but they – it just didn't – it didn't I, happen. But I'll say this. If they meet in the playoffs, I, they can beat the Chiefs. I, by the way – And I think both teams know. I, I, can I say something? Yeah. I agree with you. We did a lot. Last week was weird because we had so many things going on. Then the Thursday night game was so big, and we had so that we never actually did the like pick a score Chiefs Bengals. Mm-hmm. But there's a reason the Chiefs weren't included in Nick's picks laying the six and a half. And there is a reason that even though I was so annoyed by some of the Jamar Chase and Cam Taylor Britt talk, I not only do I respect the Bengals, I have a healthy fear of the Bengals. Right. Because the, every game is this. Yep. Every that they have, the Chiefs have won or lost, it's okay. It's going to be a field goal or less game in the final two yep. minutes. Like neither team, and it doesn't really even feel like it matters how the game is played for the first forty-five minutes. It's just going to come down to that. So I told, They're like I, matchup. I res- and I don't. Wilds, you said before the year that, you know, we didn't argue, but we had a bit of back and forth about how good the Bengals' defense is. Mm-hmm. And I think you were right, and I was a little right, which is you were right. The Bengals don't have the greatest defensive personnel. Hendrickson's awesome, but yeah, rest they're yeah. just guys. And numerically last year they weren't good. I'm probably clouded by the fact, man, they sure look like the best defense in the league every time they play the Chiefs. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Lou Anarumo gives the, Mahomes more problems than any other D.C. in the league. Yeah. And were, you, so, were you impressed with anybody on the defense? Hendrickson. I thought Hendrickson was exceptional. Anybody else? Oh, I thought, listen, I thought Cam Taylor Burke. Can you bring the board out? The, Ramsey what? or Josh, oh. can you bring the board out, please? Oh, wow. You can't call for Wait, my what? board. Okay, don't Either do you this. can do it or I can do it. What do you mean? If you talk trash uh-huh. and you make one of the plays, I would say catch of the year. Yeah, but that's. Catch that's of the big. year so far? Does he deserve to come off the board? He I would say yes. Here's the thing. He would have. I don't know if we can roll. The Rasheed Rice touchdown. Who'd that come on? He, would, I, maybe no, 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 that he was talking about okay, Xavier that, Worthy. That's great. Well, maybe he was only little, run straight. Maybe, right? say I can guard maybe, Rice. maybe he was a little too focused on one guy because <laughs> the other guy caught the first no, bomb that he, 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 he got burned. burned. He did. He got burned. He got burned. Yeah. Otherwise, that's not what it's about. Otherwise, if the oh. Dallas Mayor's on the other what? side, if he has a bad financial he decision, he gets. He doesn't stay on what the board. What do you mean? Why well, the the? I'm no, telling he you, can't come. He, off. he can't. Got, come he off. got burnt. He got burnt. Now it was a wonderful pick. Yes, but it's not just Xavier Worthy. It's the Chiefs. You know what? I'll meet you halfway. Because of the pick, despite being burnt, had they won the game, he would have been the first person to be victorious over the board. Unfortunately, he stays on the board, and soon, you know what? I need to start eliminating some people. Now that I think about it, built to beat them, my buddy Joey Burr. Sorry, man. I don't know if you're going to get to see him again this year. Built to, there's some eliminations coming, but no. And please, you already, you already made your own board, which I didn't love. Now you're calling for the board. <laughs> and the guy, time, the guy I, had the play of the game. You're on the guy who was well, talking trash. The really? I thought the play of the game was the scoop score touchdown that flipped the game. That to me was the play. Of I the thought game. it was the bogus pass interference. Oh, that, oh, <laughs> wait, I'm not, just, it's like you're putting me. Mayor Lucas, get ready to make another excommunication video when you have time, please. <laughs> Jeeps, I like the Jeeps. Uh, you're getting my dog. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, the Bengals fall to 0 and 2 for the third consecutive year and fifth time in the last six seasons. Uh, Burrow, of course, lost a pivotal fumble, but otherwise played fine. Here he is post-game. It's as frustrating as, as I've had. You know, obviously, got to hold on to the ball. You know, that one was disappointing. Gifted him six points, so that was frustrating. <laughs> okay, uh, here's the Bengals this season. They lost to the Patriots, lost to the Chiefs, two dynasties. Uh, one rebuilding, one rebuilding and that one is and currently in the prime. I, I hate this question and wanted it out of the show. Brew, do you think the Bengals are better than their 0-2 record, even though they are 0-2? Absolutely. Uh. Absolutely. I mean, I, I'm not worried at all about the Bengals. Wow. Really? No. And now, look, 
they the Chiefs bring out the best in them. They got to make sure they can get this high they for play, every yeah, right play right. Uh, this yeah. way against everybody. But this is what they do. It, it's weird. It's strange. I'm sure they want to correct it's it, but they're just not able to. Four of Joe Burrow's five seasons, they've been 0-2. And, and when he's healthy, they're able to overcome that. The year they went to the Super Bowl, they started 0-2. Yeah, that's weird. So, I, look, and then, Nick, there's a schedule. That's the key. 